The fate of the world depends on a desperate soldier breaking into the most ridiculously secure estate and befriending the holographic version of Alexa. In this post-apocalyptic future, the earth is ravaged and resources are scarce. One community of survivors is protected by a former special forces soldier, John Garth, who's as honorable as he is lethal. She's dead! Mandy, close your eyes. No, wait! Looks like he should have bolted. Garth's soon recruited by his former rival, LaPierre, and his employer, a shady profiteer, Anton Wright. In exchange for desperately needed food and medicine, Garth is tasked to lead a team and break into the Vincent estate and retrieve an art collection. Yes, an art collection in the post-apocalypse. Surprisingly, the Vincent estate is built as the most secure facility in the United States even before the apocalypse and is guarded by surface-to-air missiles, invisible shadow units, and a highly advanced security system known as Encrypt. Going thermal. Ever shot behind you. They should have watched their step. In preparation, Garth and his team are equipped with state-of-the-art gear and weapons. Let's shine a spotlight on their snazzy video game style force field armor. Then Spanish fight. Mr. King, would you step away from the others? Glancing rounds will deflect. Hey, wait a minute. You just taken 90 direct hits. How do you feel? Swell. <laughs> that looks like fun. Once Garth and his team finally make it into the mansion, they encounter a strange guest, the holographic security chief, Diana, whose constant presence and compassion complicates things for Garth. Vince, damage closed now. I don't understand your actions, John Garth. They're not consistent with all the relatable data I have retrieved on you. Perhaps you're just not the same man who once earned so many commendations of valor. You disappoint me, John. You wouldn't be the first. And probably not the last. As they go deeper, Diana and Garth bond over their tragic backstories and find out Reich's real target, control over an organic system that could rejuvenate Earth. To stop him, Garth has to fight LaPierre and encrypt's last line of defense, the autonomous killer robot known as the Rook. Looks like he hit Rook Bottom. Now for the top three signature moves. Top three signature moves. Number three, the hologram body slam. Yo, King, check this out. My daddy used to always say that it's better to be lucky than good. Death by Roomba. Second, the Rook Line and Sinker. No! I guess one size kills all. And finally, the finisher, the Reich Retribution Bomb. There's always survivors eager to make a buck. I won't let you do it. You're bleeding to death, Major. You can't move. How can you stop me? With the push of a button. I guess he didn't have the right stuff. Other highlights include Ebershaw finding that door unlocked right before King's about to blow it up. LaPierre trying to tackle Diana and passing right through her. Garth discovering that risque painting of Diana and King's comment of fine art. And King volunteering to take on the Rook with an amazing one line. Okay. It's a Rook. I'm a King. Well, checkmate it says. Go save the world. Try not to think too hard on that one. And Kirk was an ambitious and strangely entertaining original sci-fi movie. It started with a straightforward yet odd premise that transformed into great character moments between Diana and Garth as they bonded over humanity and loss. The action was also surprisingly well executed as they moved deeper into the mansion and faced greater challenges with death traps and especially the Rook. That was for 
Vega. I guess Vega can rest easy, whoever he is. I also appreciated the somewhat cheesy ending of Hope and Hologram Companionship. Call the Van Sandwich Meter. I give it 3 out of 5 masks. It was an original mixed bag. Thanks again for joining me for Jack Van Slam vs. Crib. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, what your favorite moments were, and be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more ridiculousness and more slam rain movie reviews. Seems Vincent's resume wasn't limited to uh, procurer. Bug connoisseur. Now that's some fine art. <laughs>